Hey guys, it's Erin, EW Wellness Solutions, and we are on day two of cheating. And this song is uh, Cry Me River by Justin Timberlake. And if memory serves, everyone knew it was about when uh, Britney cheated on him. Britney Spears. Yeah, huge mistake. Because they're never getting back together. Epic mistake. All right. <sighs> Reason number two why I am a, not a fan of cheat days, psychologically. Now, when we decide that we are done eating a certain way, not that we're on a diet, that we are just not going to eat that way anymore. No more Fritos, no more nachos, no more bags of gummy bears in my case, right? So we do that for 60 days, let's say. And then day 61, it's our birthday and I eat all that stuff okay the next day I'm back to my reality of chicken breasts and chia seed pudding that doesn't feel as fun right the nachos feel fun chia seed pudding that doesn't feel as fun and so I'm a little bit angry because that that is so available still. The nachos are just around the corner, right? And was it really that bad when I had the nachos? I mean, I start going in this weird place mentally, right? You start making deals with yourself. Well, just, you know, I mean, everybody has like a cheat meal, right? And then you're making bargains with yourself. And then next thing you know, it's not just cheat Saturday, it's cheat Friday night. <laughs> and then it's cheat brunch on Sunday. Then the entire weekend's a free-for-all. Then the weekend starts on Thursday. And the next thing you know, it's just a giant binge -rama. So it's kind of like when you let the, the little window open a little bit, all hell breaks loose. Because psychologically, if we've decided, you know what, those foods no longer serve me, except on my birthday and Christmas. Wait. Because it's a holiday, I'm going to pretend like everything's okay. It doesn't really make a lot of sense when you step back from it. So now that I've stepped back from it a great deal, I don't think that way anymore. On Christmas, I ate pretty much the same way I ate on the 24th and the 26th. I know. Wasn't fun by my old definition. My new definition, it was lots of fun. Because the next day, everything fit the same way. I didn't gain any weight over the holidays. That's my idea of fun now. So, we have to redefine what we get enjoyment out of. Is it food or is it how we feel all the other times when we're not eating? Because I remember back before I decided to clean up my diet, I used to look so forward to like when we'd go out to dinner or when there'd be some sort of food-based occasion. I don't really have it anymore. Not because my diet is full of monotony, <laughs> but because I finally put food in its proper place. It's finally just fuel. It's nothing to get out of bed for. It's nothing to make or break my day. I don't want to eat bad food, but it's not the end all be all. It's where it should have been the entire time, but I couldn't ever get there on my own. Hope this helps, and I know cheat days are very popular, and they're a really fun concept, but I recommend redefining what fun is. That's it for today, and tomorrow is the grand finale, and um, it's a good one, so you don't miss it. All right, thanks. This is Erin, EW Wellness Solutions, and Crime River by Justin Timberlake. What was she thinking? I mean, seriously. All right, bye.